What's up TCG fam? We are actually going back to some old school first generation Pokemon today. <laughs> I am so excited for this because I am just so well acquainted with the original 151 Pokemon so it'll be a really nice change to just go back to old school Pokemon and just really be comfortable with knowing every single one and knowing how to pronounce their names so yeah let's just crack into it can i just start off by saying i absolutely love this box it is so luminescent and gorgeous and i really love the very cute mew on the front before you say anything yes that was real yes i can do a ton of impressions and why yes i am available for voice acting should you require my services Funimation if you're watching this give me a call okay let's just crack into this bad boy and look at some OG Pokemon so this box is pretty sick with everything that you get but the main thing that I'm really after is the cards I haven't really been able to have much luck with finding a proper booster box of this set that's in English. I just want to mention first that I actually didn't buy this box. I was generously gifted this by someone. So you know who you are. Thank you so much. This was really generous of you. You didn't have to do this, but I'm really, really grateful. So thank you so much for this beautiful gift. Okay, let's go. All right, beautiful setup. So we've got our packs here and we have some on the left my camera just um, isn't showing all of it and we do have some beautiful Mew cards up here oops that was the box not me I swear <laughs> the middle one is a metal card that's not a real card and we have a I think a alt art promo Mew here and a Mew 2 as well I love this one this one actually looks really sick and we have our pack of cards here on the left as well as the right and we have a play mat right here along with some dice some damage tokens and I think this might just be a box to maybe store um, your cards in so like a card deck box yeah it is okay so yeah I don't know what it is about the Pokemon packs but I just for the life of me cannot rip them open I have to cut them and oh, I just find that they're really oh, they're really tight so okay this is a new set I don't know what the shuffling amount has to be um, hmm. I'll just try one for now but anyway there's the code please enjoy I'll just try one and see if that works okay so we actually have some energy and it's hollow energy too, which is very nice. All right, let's go. I'm so excited for this. We have Tentacle. And Polywell. Oh, that is so cute. How precious. <laughs> Kakuna. Poliwag. Oh, this feels so good already that I just know them all. Giovanni's Charisma. Very nice. Right on. Oops, I don't want to be skipping cards here. Eesh, these cards are just. <laughs> that's another thing I found with the Dragon Ball Super cards. I'm not too bad, but with these, they're just so slippery. It's so easy to accidentally skip a card. We've got Rigid Band, a Pokemon tool. We got a uh, Weeping Bell. And we got a beautiful little Dratini. Oh, how cute. Oh, actually, sorry. I didn't realize we have one uh, card left. Okay, here we go. Oh, I missed a mime. Awesome. That looks pretty sick. I'm happy with that. As usual, I will be giving the codes away because I do not want them. So here we go. There you are, lovely people. <laughs> Okay, one card to the front. We got some basic water energy. We got Horsey. Oh, male Nidoran. Abra. Diglett. 
<laughs> Persian. That's a beautiful one, actually. Muck. <laughs> Daisy's help. A trainer card. Ooh, we have a Jolteon. That's sick, actually. I love that. Jolteon was my favorite Eevee Lucian from the first generation when I was a kid. So, yeah, really love this. We got Seedra. Another, I think it's a reverse holo, they call it. And last card. Ooh. We have Electrode. Very, very nice. Yeah, I'm curious to hear what your thoughts on the newest Pokemon, especially if you're around my age being a 90s kid. So are you guys into it? Do you not like it? Do you prefer the old school and like that will always be king? Or are you actually pretty excited with all the new Pokemon that have been coming out over the years? Let me know in the comments because I do feel like a lot of people are of the same opinion that I am, which is that you really just cannot beat the first gen Pokemon. Although for me, I actually really like the second gen too. So first and second gen are just my top tier. But anything after that, I think maybe there was some gen, uh, Pokemon in gen 3 that were maybe okay. But I honestly don't remember them now looking back. I really just honed in on the first and second generation and everything after that was just kind of, I don't know, it just wasn't the same and it does feel like they're kind of running out of ideas with not only the names of the Pokemon but what they are as well. Like I saw one that just kind of looked like a, a jumpstart cable for a car. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, uh, okay, you know, each to their own. Um, obviously, Pokemon is still hugely successful, but yeah, that's just my opinion on the subject. So we're up to the last card. Oh, Marowak. Awesome. So I know I'm pretty late to the party with even opening this box, but again, wasn't really like paying that much attention to it. Oh, we got a hollow fire energy. Very nice. Um, yeah, when this first came out, I saw it everywhere and I wasn't really um, that much into collecting proper TCG again. So now that I am, I am trying to make up for a bit of lost time and getting some really cool Pokemon sets, especially as investments, because yeah, they can um, really increase their value the longer you hold them for so yeah i have bought a couple of them and we'll be hanging on to them for maybe another 10 15 years and they will just go through the roof but yeah for now i was fortunate enough to be gifted this one so i was really happy to open it and yeah just just be familiar and yeah just be reacquainted with the OG Pokemon that I love so dearly. So, all right, I think we're up to the last card here. <gasps> no way, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? I actually pulled a Charizard EX. Man, oh man. Okay, if you saw my Obsidian Flames video, you would have seen I also pulled a Charizard in that set as well. And they were just some random blister packs that I bought. But this? Wow, this is stunning. And this is only the second Charizard that I've ever pulled in my life. I explained that more in my Obsidian Flames video. But... Yeah, this is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, I'm leaving this bad boy up right now. My understanding is there is a full, well actually I think there's a few full illustration cards that are the chase cards that everyone's after in this particular set. I think there is full illustration sets of all of the last evolutions of the first three starters. So there's a Blastoise, there's a Venusaur, and of course there's a Charizard. I think the Charizard is actually probably the most sought after card in this set. So if I can get that, 
obviously that would be amazing, but even any full illustration card of those three, or maybe even just any of the full illustrations that you can get in the set would be really, really nice because those full illustrations are just really incredible. I love that Pokemon did actually go in that direction and just change things up a bit rather than confining all the Pokemon just in this square forever. So yeah, I thought that was a really cool idea. So yeah, hopefully we can snag one today. We still have plenty of packs left. And okay, I think we're up to our last card. Oh, how awesome is this? Dragonite. Oh, how beautiful. I actually do have a soft spot for Dragonite. I really loved it as a kid as well. I never got one, I think, in the Pokemon Game Boy games, but I really wanted one. They were just really powerful. And I think you all remember versing Lance in the Elite Four and <laughs> how um, challenging that was. But yeah, this is really, really beautiful. Oh, the nostalgia is just hitting hard today. Okay, we got the code card for you guys again. One card to the front. Oh, we have hollow fighting energy. Very, very cool. All right. Let me guys know in the comments who your favorite Pokemon is as well. I'd be very curious to hear whether it's the first or second generation or even something newer. Let me know. Um, we got Staryu. Can I just say as well, how weird is it that the sounds that Staryu and Starmie make in the anime, Staryu kind of sounds like he's in a kung fu movie. Yeah. And Starmie kind of sounds like maybe she's got a OF account, if you know what I mean. <sighs> so I just think it's funny that they, they're one of the few Pokemon that don't actually say their name. They just make random sounds. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> moving on. We got Charmander here looking so adorable. We got Spearow, Bellsprout again, Snorlax, another awesome Pokemon. <laughs> and that was always a mission to capture him as well, remember, when he's like blocking the road to a certain town, I think. Yeah, that was fun. So many good memories playing the Game Boy games. We got Sandslash. We got Nidorino. Oh, Butterfree, how beautiful. I think we all remember that um, that moment where everyone cried when, you know, Butterfree left. Oh, so sad. <laughs> we got Antique Old Amber. All right, I think this is the last card. Come on, baby. Oh, we have a Chansey with a four-leaf clover. How adorable is that? Okay, we got the code right there for you lovely people. One card to the front. We got some lightning electricity energy. <laughs> we got seal, <laughs> just relaxing. Chilling. Yeah. <laughs> Do duo. Tentacle. Ratata. Magneton. Oh, that looks cool. Oh, Nido Queen. Very nice. Awesome. Oh, don't skip the card. <laughs> Victory Bell. Again, another one that for some reason the anime just makes the most unusual sounds. <laughs> and we have, oh, a beautiful Goldeen. Very nice. Love that. We got Execute. And last card. Come on, give me something good, baby. Oh, we have an Articuno. Wow, that is so beautiful. Down to our last pack that was on, I think, the left side of the box. And I do have to say, I've had a ton of hollows and I haven't really had anything too crazy yet apart from that Charizard. I really thought that being a ultra premium box that there would be a lot more 
mad hits in this box but I don't know maybe there'll be more in the second pile of cards so let's just keep rolling through it we got psychic energy <laughs> magic up <laughs> oddish Mankey. <clears throat> oh Meowth how cute <laughs> is did anyone else play with Meowth quite a bit in the game so that you would get more money after the battle. <laughs> I loved doing that. We have Gold Duck, Pinsa, oops, sorry, skip the card, Bill's Transfer, Parasect, we got Psyduck, and for the last card we have a Electrode Hollow once again. Yeah, if you guys know where I could potentially get a English booster box of this set, let me know because I would like to open one and um, just see how that goes. I think booster boxes for Pokemon sets maybe have, hmm, I think it's over 30 packs, maybe it's 32. Definitely more than a Dragon Ball uh, booster box, like as in uh, the Super Dragon Ball card game. So yeah, that would be fun as well, but it's just been sold out everywhere. And I know that it came out last year, so obviously it is a bit harder to find for that reason as well. But yeah, would love to open a proper booster box of that. And as you guys know, if I could get my hands on a Silver Tempest booster box, that would be great as well because I got some really nice cards from those random blister packs that I got. And I don't know what the pull rate is in terms of blister packs versus a booster box. But yeah, I definitely, definitely want to pull that Lugia alt art. I have just been dreaming about it and it's such a gorgeous card. I just, yeah, and with Lugia being my favorite, I just, I have to have it, but yeah, we'll see. If I if I can't get one, then I'll try to hunt down the card that's in a slab for a decent price. But um, if I can maybe try one more time, like a really good try of trying to get it, that would be amazing. Okay, I think we're up to our last card. And we have another Hollow Marowak for the collection. Damn, okay. I really thought I would get a lot more crazy hits in this, to be honest. Like, I feel like with the regular booster boxes or even just getting random blister packs, I I know the pull rate is still, like, pretty good, but I honestly thought that because you're paying more for a premium ultra box that the blister packs in that box would actually be a bit better, but... I don't know. I mean, there's still a few packs, but like I said, so far we've only really had hollows and reverse hollows. Nothing crazy except that Charizard. So, oh, that's a cute Weedle. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully um, something great is yet to come. So, we have Zubat, Goldeen, Giovanni's Charisma, Rhydon, oops. Rigid Band again. Ooh. I love this card. This is absolutely stunning. Wow. And Mewtwo is such a boss. I really love Mewtwo as well. But damn, boy, that card art is sick. And I feel like, yeah, we still have a few cards left, so... Oh, is this a magic pack? Alright, let's just keep going. So Mewtwo, the homie. We got Tentacruel. And last but not least... Oh! Damn. <laughs> All that hype for a hollow electrode. That's okay though, that's okay. I love this Mewtwo card, so I will take that for sure. Okay, I've got packs <laughs> everywhere. I need to tidy up a little bit. All right, there's the code. Oops, one to the back, not two. We got some water energy. Shelda, 
Oh, an antique helix fossil. That's pretty cool. We got Slowpoke <laughs> bathing in the sun. We got Magma, another really cool Pokemon. Golbat. <laughs> leftovers? Who wants leftovers? <laughs> Just give me like the the food like in its original state. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Okay. <laughs> we got Persian. Oh, a sweet Caterpie. A Lickitung. That's pretty cool, actually. Love the illustration for that. And we have... Oh, another Hollow Articuno. Okay, so after this, I only have four packs left. Hmm. Maybe I've got a bad box? I don't know. I just feel like there should be a lot more hits in, in this. Especially if you're paying a bit of a premium for a collector box. But... Anyway, let's keep going. Oh, Volpix, how sweet. <laughs> we got Magnemite. Caterpie. Oh, sweet Eevee, how gorgeous. <laughs> oh, Charmeleon. Okay, awesome. We got Parasect. Oops. Damn, these cars are slippery. Cloister. That looks pretty sick. I love that. <laughs> Go Pidgey. Nidorina. Come on, baby. Give me something good. Oh. <laughs> Seriously? What are the chances of that? Can someone tell me if this is actually a decent card or not? I mean, I feel like it is because it's Charizard, but... Two in one box? Are you kidding me? Wow, okay. Huh. Maybe it's uh maybe it's not too bad that I don't get anything else. <laughs> okay, we're down to our last three packs. Okay, so that's interesting. We've taken a interesting turn of events. I wonder if the true heat of this box is in the last few packs. Okay, so one card to the front. Let's do this, baby. Coughing. <laughs> oh, okay. <gasps> I think there is something back there. I saw some different shine compared to the shine of the hollows. So, all right, let's see. I'm gonna try my best not to let these cards slip up. Psyduck. Ekans. Oops. Cubone. Oh. So cute. Oh, Lapras. Very nice. Love some Lapras action. Cycling Road. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh, Scyther. Very nice. One of my favorites from the first generation. Love Scyther. Okay. Bellsprout. Oh, okay. <gasps> it's gold. Oh, okay. I'll try and make this quick. Oh, okay. Wow. It's a gold switch trainer card. I feel like these are actually pretty valuable or maybe if not valuable, they're at least pretty rare. And it's got three gold stars. So I'm assuming that's a good sign. And the whole uh, card is gold as well. That's actually really beautiful. I love the foiling and the texture in this. And I did see another shiny card behind it, so... Wow, okay, let's do this. Oh, we have a Genghis Khan EX. Wow, that looks really sick. I'm pretty happy with that, guys. Okay, people, my camera is about to die, so I need to make these last two packs really quick. So, let's... Oops. Okay. Let's start off with some energy. Porygong. <laughs> oh, Electrobuzz. Nice. Rhyhorn. Awesome. Oh, no. Don't stick together on me now. Okay. Tangela. <laughs> That's really cute. 
oops, uh, Hitmonchan. Oh wow, I see some insane shine. Oh, it could be a hollow, I don't know. Okay. Seeking. Cool. And there's a card, yep, there's a card behind that. Butterfree. Oh, we have a Moltres. Very, very nice. If I can get a Zapdos, that would be awesome to complete the set of the legendary birds. Okay. Pidgeotto. And last but not least, we have a Dotrio. Okay, here we are, people. The final pack in the 151 Ultra Premium Collection Box. There's the last code for you people. Okay, one cut to the front. All right. Oh, we got some Halo Energy. All right, don't stick. On me now please okay there was only yep that was it just one all right Lickitung Venonat Pidgey Metapod Snorlax again Sandslash oops oh we got Haunter that looks really cool I love that Rigid Band <clears throat> oh, we have a Clefable. That looks really nice too. I love that. Okay. I think we're up to the last card. Come on, baby. Give me a full illustration. Oh, it's a hollow Machamp. Okay, let's have a look at the hits we did get. I feel like these are the only proper hits that we got in that whole box. So... We have a Genghis Khan EX, this beautiful gold card, really love this. We got a full illustration, which is really, really cool. And we got two Charizards, so yeah, pretty happy with the Char- well, actually pretty happy with all of these, particularly the fact that I actually got two Charizards. That's pretty cool, but Again, would have been nice if there was maybe a bit more juice in that box, you know what I mean? So, <laughs> um, anyway, so that was the 151 Ultra Premium Collection box. So, yeah, if you're interested in seeing what else I pull, then make sure you're subscribed to my YouTube channel and that you also follow me on Instagram at Vorpal Bunny. And that's everything, guys. So, I hope you have a beautiful day and I'll see you in the next one.